Personally, I think that voice is going to become one of the primary ways that people interact with AI. We here at Twilio agree, Sam. Here's the fast recap of what else dropped at OpenAI Dev Day. First, actual apps inside ChatGPT. With the new Apps SDK built on Model Context Protocol, devs can connect data, trigger actions, render UI, add login, and eventually monetize directly inside their conversations. ChatGPT can also suggest apps in the flow like Canva, Coursera, or Zillow with full screen views and live updates. Second, agents have leveled up. OpenAI offers Agent Kit for the building blocks, an Agent Builder on the Responses API, and Chat Kit to easily embed a chat UI, plus connectors, file search, guardrails, and a live preview. To really hammer it home, they even shipped a working agent on an eight minute timer. The agent is ready with uh, 49 seconds to spare. Third, the prodigal coding assistant, Codex, has returned. And it's no longer just a research preview. It's generally available with a Slack integration, a Codex SDK, and enterprise controls. Under the hood, Codex can run GPT-5 Codex, a GPT-5 family variant tuned for Agenta coding. The Codex demo showed Codex seamlessly building an integration with camera and lighting systems, which gives me an idea. And finally, some good old API additions, aka Twilio's bread and butter. GPT-5 Pro is now in the API. GPT Real-Time Mini landed and is about 70% cheaper than the large real-time voice model. And Sora 2 adds synchronized dialogue sound effects and is rolling into API access. If MCP rings a bell, that's because we made a whole video on it. Check it out here. Now we want to hear from you. Which announcements made you think, huh, how could that work with Twilio? Let us know in the comments below and stay tuned for more updates.